Alrighty, and we are back. Uh, we are back on Beetleback Farm with uh, Olivia here. Uh, yesterday, we had our first night. We got settled in, planted some early crops just to get us started, and then uh, walked around town kind of in, uh, talking to people and whatnot. Um, yes, I would like a backpack ASAP, but I cannot afford that. Uh, and just got back from a fishing trip. Okay, we'll go talk to Willie today. Um, I've still got to meet 30, uh, about 15 more people. So that's a little bit of an ask. <laughs> but uh, we'll go ahead and start by just watering our crops. As well as hydrating the beetle larva. Uh, you can see that it kind of placed in this like little log here, um, or like a, an inoculated growth pot <laughs> of some sort. Uh, I'm not entirely sure exactly what that's supposed to emulate there, but uh, it's pretty interesting nonetheless. Uh, I'll keep the scythe on me. I don't think we're going to need the pickaxe, but I'll keep the the regular axe on me for now. I uh, will go ahead and take the dandelion or the daffodil with us. Uh, yeah. So let's head into town. So we gotta stop by the beach to talk to Willie. So that's something we've got to do today. I guess we could spend the rest of the day foraging. Foraging should actually be pretty profitable. Um, what is down here? Oh yes, this is Grandpa's shed. Um, now as far as like our retelling of the story here, uh, this is Demetrius's Grandpa's shed. It did come with the property, but um, it's a bit run down as you can tell. So we will have to uh, work on that. Oh, hello. I don't know you. Hello. Martin. Hey there, you're that new owner for Beetleback Farm. My manager had a meeting about you. I work part-time at Joja Mart. Uh, forget what I said about that meeting. It could get me in trouble. Okay. Disconcerting. Alright, let's go ahead and get rid of some of the grass so that forageables can spawn. A lot of our money is probably going to come from forageables. Mostly insect forageables, which I hopefully will run into pretty quickly. Uh, so let's actually head south out of the farm in order to find that kind of stuff quicker. Um, we could use a chair, the chair trick, to get into the secret woods quicker, uh, and there's a lot of stuff we could do in there. Um, but I don't really want to use that exploit if we can help it. If we need to go in there for any reason, we know it, I, I do know that it will work. Um, but let's try to keep this a little bit more, uh... proper. Uh, I, like I said, I'm cutting down this grass. As, as pretty as it is, it, I think it does interfere with the uh, forageable spawns. And I quite want forageables to spawn. <laughs> um, especially certain ones that you'll see here. Hopefully shortly. Oh, there's one. Alright, so, 
I have insects that kind of spawn in as wild forageables. Uh, they don't look the greatest, I'll be honest. Uh, I think the sprite work could use a little bit of work, but I'm not in the capacity to do it myself, so I don't really have room to talk. Uh, that being said, they are pretty cool. Um, there's a big variety. There's, uh, I think about 12 or so per season, other than winter, where the, uh, they'll come. And, uh, they're actually worth a pretty good amount. They do, they do make it worth foraging them. Oh, I see an orchid mantis. Um, now as far as I can tell, they only spawn in this part of the map. Um, because of, I guess, Stardew Valley Expanded. Um, it changes the way the spawning works. And I probably could go into the configs and change where these things spawn. But like, out here? They don't spawn out here. Um, which is a little bit of a bummer, but not the end of the world. So let's go ahead and explore this place too here. See you. Did you? Ooh, brown mushroom already. Uh, definitely gonna want a backpack <laughs> as soon as possible. Uh, I don't really know how we'll make money other than foraging for insects uh, and the occasional planting that we do. I probably won't be spending that much on seeds. Um, This is interesting. Oh, this is that abandoned vineyard, isn't it? From expanded. Well, obviously it's from expanded. I'm out here. Um, let's actually. down here, but also I want to go get that sword that's over here, um, because we do have monsters spawning on the map, and I would like that to not be a fall egg when it happens. We're not too worried about uh, efficiency or anything right now. Like, I know it'll be kind of a, a no-no to throw away this fiber, but I'm probably going to throw away the fiber in, it, in exchange for these swords. What do we have the least of? Yeah, we'll throw away the fiber for now. I'm bothering picking up these ones because they're artifacts, which is our first artifact, and... Um... No one really likes dandelions, and they don't sell for much. I'm going to regret doing that. But having the sword is a huge plus. Also, I have the... Um, the melee sword shit, so my sword can do that. All the weapons have a special attack sort of thing. And the base sword has a sort of wind blade that kind of goes out from it. Very nice. 
Um, that mod actually makes daggers pretty viable in this. You basically send out like a spray of three daggers. And, uh... I don't know how to get out of these woods. <laughs> Uh, you send out like a spray of like three daggers and they bounce off of shit. Uh, dealing damage to anything they touch. It's usually a pretty short cooldown too. Um, so daggers are pretty nice. Should I make it back to the farm here? Uh, it's too late to go to Pierre's. Hmm, that looked like I could go through there for a second. Uh, I was going to try to go to Pierre's and sell this stuff off directly so you guys could see about how much it's worth. But... we can't have. We'll just uh, sell them in the box. Go through it at the end of the day review. Say hi to what's his name? Andy? You home? Oh god, your house is filthy. Looks like my house. Um Would you look at that? It's the new farmer everyone's been talking about. Finally moved to the valley, I see. Been working Fairhaven Farm for many years. It ain't much, but it's honest work. You're lucky you got that free property from your grandpa. I didn't. This is uh you must be mistaken. I uh, I purchased this property with my grant money, um, but Demetrius's grandpa did own it before, so I did get a little bit of a deal on it, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, kinda wanna grab these spring onions, but... There's only three, and I don't wanna give up anything in exchange for them. We'll just head back to the bar or the farm and call it a day. I guess we'll uh use what little time we have left to kind of clear out the farm a little bit. Actually, probably shouldn't do that either because we'll waste getting pickups here. We'll just sell what we can and go to bed. Second day in, we're not that worried about stuff here. Go ahead and sell those. Those are usually worth a fair amount. We'll sell these and I'll hold on to the leaks because I know specific people that like them. Um, same with these daffodils. We'll save that sword. Should we st spend the night fighting with our new blade? Nah, let's just go to bed. Leveled up our foraging. Alright. Oh, I forgot to look at the fucking overview. I'm a goddamn idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um. Well, I mean, you can see how much we earn, so maybe that kind of helps you figure it out. I don't know. Get out of here! Motherfucker. 
Damn. Um. I guess today we will just focus on cleaning up the farm. Working in the rain. It's a nice day to be outside. I like the rain. Bugs like the rain. So I like the rain. Because you can find bugs. We didn't go see Willy yesterday. Uh, that kind of shit will happen a lot with me, by the way. Uh, anybody who's watched my stuff before will know that I am fucking scatterbrained as hell. Four or five p.m. Okay, so let's actually let's actually go do that. I thought crows weren't supposed to spawn until you got better situated. Uh, let's go ahead and drop these off, because we're going to get the fishing poles. So let's, uh... Make sure that we can use it to the best of our ability. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this, because we can give it to Caroline if we see her. Actually, we probably won't see her. It's Wednesday and it's raining. She is closed on Wednesdays. I don't think that she'll walk around town with the rain and all. Oh, hi. Hey, hi, hi, hi. Hello, people. Sorry, I don't really know you all that well. Claire edges away. Okay. Ah, it's Farmer Olivia. Welcome to the valley. My name is Morris, manager of Jojo Mart. If you need cheap, quality seeds, there's no better place in Jojo. I wouldn't bother with Pierre's store. Jojo seeds are much better than his. Oh, okay, I have a feeling they're all probably the same. Oh, it was your birthday yesterday. Looking to dissect a potato. Please deliver to Demetrius at 24 Mountain Road. Uh, you know what, Uncle? I if they grow quick enough, sure. What's the time limit on that? Two days. You're not getting your potato. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is not how fast potatoes grow. He's about to fall in. Ahoy there, Miss. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. I'm still. <laughs> what the fuck happened there? I am still trying to unwind from my month out at the salty sea. That was a big haul. Sold quite a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Hey, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the otter fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from my shop once in a while. I know, my accent's bad. I don't care. I also know it's not exactly a pirate accent. There's good water in he this here valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's open. Come in and buy some supplies if you need. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say. Anyway. Yeah, look how much bigger I am than he is. <laughs> like, why do I, why, why is the villager, or why is the farmer so much bigger than the villagers? Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm buying the training rod. Fishing is fucking hard, and 
I'm, I'm good at it. Um. Bloop. Bloop. Yes, I know, it's kind of OP. Like this over here, we can completely skip this to get over here to get to this forageable flat. I think this is fun. <laughs> you don't make enough money from forageables to make this game breaking. It saves you 300 wood early game, and like realistically, I can swim this. As a matter of fact, it's shallow enough that it's considered walking. Oh, never mind, I broke it. <laughs> Regardless, uh, I think that is totally fine. Being able to swim across shit like that. Uh, we'll go ahead and sell that shit to you early, just cuz... Let's go ahead and try to fish. It is raining, so it should be worth doing so. Fishing is like one of my... What? Uh, okay, I, I'll actually go back on what I'm about to say there. Fishing used to be one of my least favorite parts of this game. I fucking hate, hated fishing. Um, especially early game. Um, but once you like break past the, like the really small bar, like once you hit like level two or three, uh, fishing isn't that bad. Here, I'll use the other rod just to kind of show you what I mean. Like, this this bar is super tiny, and it's super frustrating because, like, they move huge amounts, but you have to react, and, like, the gravity part of it, trying to keep it... Even this basic fish here, it's just, like, trying to get it to stay in this bar with little jerky movements like that. It's just annoying. Fucking frustrating. <laughs> uh, but I've gotten a lot better at the fishing. I kind of persevered, pushed through, and now I don't really hate it that much. Especially once you upgrade your rod and upgrade your level. It's tolerable. Um, still not my favorite, but it's tolerable. Ah, oh, god damn it. Fucking noise. <laughs> that noise got me. After this, I need to make sure that I, that actually counted as talking to Willie. I went and checked on my chicken in the kitchen, by the way. Um, like I said before, I'm making my own broth from scratch, and it smells amazing in there. Uh, Willie, buy my fish. Um, did that actually count as talking to you? It did. Okay. Who the fuck was that? Who is that? Oh, that's Pam. part of the uh, character portrait pack. So, seagull. Oh, never mind. I got a bite. <laughs> I was going to talk to the seagull to pass the time. Oh, gosh. I hate, hate fishing early game. <laughs> I'll probably go back to the training rod here. I'll probably use the training rod until I hit, like, level 3. I managed to catch a silver star flounder, though. Fishing is, uh, broken early game. Uh, it's actually kind of broken for most of the game. You can make a lot of fucking money with fish. And almost, like, all the recipes are, like, seafood-based. So, it's, like, it's not that hard to get good food, get good money, and, you know, with the whole treasure system and stuff, like, it's not that hard to, like, 
entirely rely on fishing. Um, as I don't really like the fishing. Oh, this is Dulce Seaweed. Um, as, as much as I uh, don't really like the fishing, it is incredibly powerful. Uh, and I am willing to use it to my benefit, if needed. So we'll probably fish here until probably 450 and then we'll head back towards the farm, try to meet maybe Sophia and uh, anybody else in town. Maybe we'll head to the saloon since it's raining, people might be hanging out there. That's actually a good idea. We'll go to the saloon tonight and meet people. Get a drink. I don't drink IRL. Uh, but I think this character would enjoy um, a, a beverage every every now and then. Probably more fruit wines or something. Maybe mead. I know Gus doesn't sell that stuff, but we can indulge. Last cast, I think. Nope. Oh. Seagull? This is my fish. You stay away. Yeah, you go to bed. Oh. He woke up. He heard the fish. Alright, yeah. We'll go ahead and call it there. I'm just going to sell all the fish now. Um, fishing isn't that difficult. So we can get those fish back. I like how I just said fishing isn't that difficult after I spent like... How long? 10 minutes <laughs> talking about how difficult it was for me. Uh, I meant like it's not that hard to like get those fish back. Um, if you can accomplish fishing, then you can get that. So we got one level out of fishing. I think that is more than enough. Um, uh, it's too late to take the sword to the museum. I don't think we'd make it in time. Oh, hey, Sabrina. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town. Like, yeah, Uncle Demetrius is here. And he gave me the... There's cool bugs here, Sabrina. You know, you never understood me. Hello, Pam. Hey, kid, the name's Pam. Uh, don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. Oh, okay. Uh, as you guys can see, she doesn't look awful. <laughs> uh, that's part of the mod with this, like, portrait pack. Um, maybe I should cook something new and exciting today. It's spicy. You should. Here you go. Um. Hey, so you're the new girl, huh? Cool. Hey there. I'm Pet Dusty? Sure. If I can reach. I can't reach. Okay. Um, it's part of this, like, portrait pack. Uh, it does have a different one by default. Uh, but it is hideous. <laughs> so I turned on the other one. This is my favorite thing, thank you. No problem, George. Hmm, it's irritating to have all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now fuck off. Okay, sir. Hello, Granny. I didn't read what she said, I'm sorry. Uh, hello, Shania. Uh, no, I don't have time to chat with you. Okay, then. Hello, Harley. There's not a way through there right there. Hello, Harley. Remember to cover your mouth when you sneeze. Then make sure to wash your hands. Oh, okay, Harley. I think Harley, or Harvey, uh, likes coffee. Can we buy coffee? We can. I'll buy, I'll buy Harley. Buy Harley a coffee. Um. 
I could buy, pay him a beer just to keep her happy, but I don't want to do that. Vegetable medley. That looks nice. Ripe sea flower, red onion, shallot. You've got so many recipes. Marshmallow fluff. Long tea. Absinthe amaretto. God damn. Uh, croissant. Maybe we drew my croissant. How do I make butter? Frangelica? What is this? Oh, it's alcohol again. Kimchi. Cabbage mixed with spicy seasonings. Artisan good. So I can probably make that. Mezcal. I don't know what any of this shit is. Pumpkin spice. I'll be honest, I'm a fucking sucker for pumpkin spice shit. I love pumpkins. Cola. Dude, you have so many recipes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Cooked alpaca meat. I think there are plant seeds in, or meat seeds in this, so you can uh, plant. This is my favorite stuff. It's like you read my mind, or I read the wiki earlier. <laughs> oh, hi, Michael. Hope I don't drink too much. Linus found me in the middle of Town Square last week. Okay. okay. <laughs> I, like it. I, I like this mod. It's dumb. Like, there's just a mushroom dude in town that everybody's okay with. Nothing like an ice cold Joja Cola on a sopping wet day, huh? Alright, I'll, I'll treat you. There you go. Y yeah, I know, you just told you, you just told me. Just kidding. But. Okay, Sam. <laughs> and Sabrina won't talk to me. Um. Some people might not like the fact that I've made the bachelors into bachelorettes. Um, I don't care. I think they're cuter that way. Um, I don't have a problem with them being dudes. I just think they're cuter as uh, chicks. Uh, ahoy there. It's nice to meet young folk moving in. Alright, yeah. I think he just repeats what he says. Hello, I met you already. You need to pick me up some food today. Question is, do I look for forage in the forest or do I buy something at Joja? Uh, you should buy something at Joja so I can get all the forageables. I already talked to Leah. Alright. Can I talk to Emily? I hadn't, but I just clicked through. Well, hello there. I'm Gus and chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Alright. Nope. This, this right here. This part of the bar being missing is a part of Stardew Valley Expanded, and it is just one of those quality of life things that is so nice. Because if you want to talk to Emily, normally you have to walk all the way around. When on this one, you can just kind of... It, it, it feels shorter to go this way. It's much nicer. Hello, Clint. Or, hi, I'm Clint. Town Blacksmith, if you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Okay, Clint, I'll keep that in mind. Let's just uh, head back to the farm. Don't think there's really much else we can do tonight. Uh, we can probably try to clean up the farm a little bit. Cut down some trees. Do some whatnot. Uh, I don't think I have any more seeds. Yeah. Uh, I don't need both of these on me. I'll use the training rod until I'm level 2. Actually, let's just go ahead and put it away for now so that I can get these. Alright. Back to cutting things out in the rain. Okay. I forgot about that. Am I missing? I think I was missing that fucking tree anyway. Hmm. 
Come here, you bitch. This alley is dangerous. Alright, let's get some of our energy back. You do have to stand still, right? Like, kind of sit still in the water to get your energy back. If you're moving, it doesn't go back up. Uh, so it's not entirely busted. Because you basically still gotta sit here and wait. It just means I don't have to go inside and, like, sleep in the bed. Anywhere there's water, you, you gotta get your health back. Which is nice. Sorry, butterflies. I see the bat. I see the bat coming. It's flying around my head. Drop a bomb. <laughs> uh, we could probably push another tree, but let's not push our luck. Just head to bed. Got our fishing room level up. And I don't think I sold anything that night, so I didn't get any money. Probably a good place to pause it, so yeah. Day four, our parsnip should be ready today, right? No. Oh, they take four days. I planted them on the first. Okay, so yeah, tomorrow our parsnip should be ready. So today we'll probably spend time going around town, talking to the people we can still talk to. Um, we got a handful of people to meet yet. Still haven't met Haley or Penny, Elliot, or Ele Elaine, Maru, the wizard, the kids, Marnie. Oh, yeah, we got a we got a handful of people to still talk to, so maybe we'll focus on that today. But as of right now, I'm gonna go ahead and call it, um, and we'll be back uh, relatively shortly.